This is Michael Woodbridge coming to you from the Aldo Leopold Shack northwest of Madison, Wisconsin. And this is a chance for people to come out here, get inspired, and really start thinking about the, a vision for the refuge system. So at the Aldo Leopold Legacy Center, um, just down the road from the shack where really the whole field of ecological restoration began in many ways. And we really see this as a, as a place to uh, come and be re-inspired uh, or inspired for the first time if you've never heard of Leopold and kind of rekindle that passion and love that people have for the natural world um, and take that back to them whatever corner of the world uh, they come from. Well, I'm really excited to have this opportunity to visit uh, Aldo Leopold's property and visit the center here mm -hmm. and throughout the week I'll be reflecting on the field trip here and my time walking quietly down the trails and thinking about my own land ethic and how I'm going to apply that back in the day-to-day -day work in implementing our new vision. I have many feelings going on today and one is the passing of the torch. So um, coming face to face with the foundation that's been laid that's inspired me to take on the work that I do in service to our country and um, also uh, expanding my mind of what's possible, what's really possible and how to get people to see that and to embrace it and to think outside the box and try new things and really integrating conservation into everyday decision making and choices that we as a service make and that our country can make as well. I started out as an undergraduate, of course, at North Carolina State University, and the Sand County Almanac was required reading. And it's partly from reading that book that made me decide that I wanted to be a refuge manager. And, but I'd never been here. And so to finally come here as a refuge manager is really a very cool experience. I, you couldn't have picked a better place, honestly, to have the conference.